All right, I just wanted to use uh, this comment as an example. I'm pretty sure I've, I've shown this on some other video, but essentially a shorted contactor, when you go to check it, you're gonna check the coil. You're gonna have a low voltage short issue. You don't know what's tripping your transformer or blowing your fuses. And if you check the coil of your uh, contactor on, a, on an AC unit, uh, something that has 24 volt coils, you can see this one is 0.53. And that's ohms. So you have basically no resistance and that's a, that's a short. Now, it's always good to uh, check a brand new one when you're going to put one in. And then after a while, you'll realize what's good and what's bad. So if we check a brand new one. You see that we have 12. There's no real number to go by. It's just if you do not have any resistance, if you don't get ohms, not even like one ohm, that is a short that's obvious everything else is just it depends on the uh contactor you have and uh the the coil basically so we check another one this is a three pole and this one was working we have almost five we have 4.9 ohms now let's check a different brand here's another one this i think this is a packard we get seven, seven and a half ohms. So they're all gonna be different. You're gonna get anywhere from five. I've seen these running on five ohms, five to, I don't know, 15, and they're all gonna be good. Now, if you jump up and do try to check a uh, commercial uh, equipment that calls for a 120 or 208 volt coil, that's where things get a little tricky because if you check and you're like, oh, I should have 15 ohms or whatever it is that people have told you. We have 786 ohms, right? That is a 208 coil. Let me grab a 120 coil. It's a two pole 120 coil. We let it read. That one's gonna be 372. It's a, it's a, it's less because it's 120, not 208. But you're gonna get different readings. So, if you uh, have a low voltage short, I would disconnect the uh, coil on the contactors and go and check those first, and then you can go uh, hunting for a rub out. So no ohms, bad contactor. All right. So I just wanted to bring that up because in it, initially when I was first finding shorts in the contactor and it kind of threw me off. I didn't know you, that could actually happen. I was thinking like, what's the proper reading? What's what's good or what's bad? Come to find out that every contactor is different depending on the amperage, the coil voltage, and even the brand. So I uh, just wanted to point that out because sometimes in the comments, I'll see people saying, oh, it has to be this, it has to be uh, 12, it has to be 15. I've tried different ones, they're all different. So as long as you don't have like next to nothing, you're okay. So hopefully that helped. Just wanted to kind of clear that up. Uh, if you guys have any recommendations or anything to add to it, go ahead and leave it in the comments. See you guys.